What's up, Nailistas? We are back with another nail video. And in this video, I will be doing some press on tips that are already prepped here that I did off camera. These are some short square tips and I added length to the nails um, because I don't have any full coverage square press on. So I just made some. These are some acrylic powders. That green one I made, I made it with glow powder and clear and it came out beautiful, so it does glow. And these are some other acrylic colors that I am going to swatch for y'all. Now, this look, I must say, was inspired by another YouTuber. And I'm not gonna mention the YouTuber because her platform is way bigger than mine. She don't need my little shout out. And also, I don't wanna offend anybody because I know a lot of people in these YouTube streets don't like to be shot out, especially by smaller platforms like my little humble stuff. So, but, girl, if you see your look, you're more than welcome to come over here and say, hey, that, I did those. And I'm like, yes, girl, yes, you did. But, so anyways, I am swatching these colors. The one on the far right is Mauve About You by, um, not Polish. I can't believe I forgot that. And these are just some little knickknacks and things. I was going through my nail stuff and I found those and they were buried. I got a lot of nail stuff. So those are just like some milers. I got this in like the very first kit that I bought off of Amazon that was so cheap. But the glitters and stuff, now the acrylic and stuff, that was cheap. But the glitters that y'all saw there, those are the glitters. And this is, um, I want to say it's Cosmopolitan by iGel Beauty Dippin' Dab. However, I'm not a big fan of iGel Beauty's Dippin' Dab. But I, I've learned over the last couple years to work with it. So I'm just getting my colors together. Now, I will say the look I got inspired by, she did not use these colors. She used, this is a hint. So if y'all watch these nail videos um, on YouTube, she used brown, yellow, and green. And I'm doing something different. I wanted to do a fall look as well, but I didn't want to do the exact same uh, design that she did. I didn't want to use the same exact colors because what's what what is the fun in that? And my favorite color is orange, so i got to throw some orange up in these. I fit these tips to my fingernails so that I can rock them at some point, hopefully this fall. So, don't be talking about my tip size, y'all, because I do have good, a good size nail bed. Y'all can see my hands. And I actually, I am doing this voiceover. I just got done uh, finishing up the video for y'all. And I'm doing the voiceover now because I am a ball of energy. So look at me go. Keep into my word, saying that I'm going to continuously upload videos, trying to get my subscribers up, trying to get my camera quality better. I'm telling y'all, YouTube is hard, okay? They'll come for you for the smallest things in these YouTube streets, okay? And a lot of y'all got iPhones. I'm doing this for my Android, so... I do have a camera. I just don't like to upload from my camera and it'd be shutting off and da da da. So yeah, I don't have a viewfinder on my camera either. So it's easier to do it from my cell phone. All right. So if you got just an Android, you can do it too. All right. So I am laying this yellow and this yellow is my model ones in the rainbow collection. I got this a couple years back or maybe early last year, 2021. And it's, you know, it first lays slushy, but if you let it sit for a minute, it actually is a good acrylic system. So I'm going to place some butterflies on the wet acrylic. And these um, gold butterflies came in a set that y'all saw. Got them off of Amazon. So just type in, you know, butterflies for nail art and they should pop up like six, seven bucks. So I'm just laying those in the wet acrylic. Now I will tell y'all, I did speed this video up for those of you that don't like vo voiceovers, just gonna have to deal with it too bad. I'm getting tired of trying to find free music. And second of all, I sped it up for y'all that don't like long videos where I am. And you know, I get it because I'm not gonna sit and watch a video that's two hours long. And this video would have been two hours long because I took my time and made them look good. Beauty takes time, okay? Okay. So, especially if you want good nails, like, the only, only reason why it took me two hours is because um, I was literally 
freestyling this thing, even though I knew what I wanted them to look like. I, I didn't know what colors. I didn't know if I was going to encapsulate. I didn't know if I was going to like rhinestones. So I will be doing some 3D flowers. So stay tuned if you struggle with those. I do. But I think these are the best 3D flowers that I've laid thus far. I'm going to continue to lay 3D flowers for y'all. So y'all can watch my growth on how these flowers came out. Look how beautiful that nail is. Oh my God, I want to pop it on right now. That yellow and that tan is everything. So the next nail I'm going to be doing, I believe it's brown. Yes, it is. Now this is a DC, DMC, DC powder. I know a lot of y'all use DND. And I believe the DC powder is made by DND. It's very confusing. Um, it's a number that I do not have on hand right now. Like, it's just a brown color by them. I don't know the number. It's too dark in my room right now. I can't see what the number is. So, um, but just use whatever you got, okay? That is one of the tricks of being a nail tech. Like, if you got your main essentials when you first started, cool. You don't have to go and buy every little thing that you see. And that is a mistake a lot of us do. I say us because I so did that. I have so much stuff. I have just as much stuff as most of the salons I go to around here. And I don't go to the salons to uh, get any services anymore. Um, it's just that I've worked in quite a few salons in the past year or so. So I have a lot of stuff. And I'm trying to use it. So that's why I'm making these press ones. That's why I'm pumping out these videos because I really need to use the stuff that I invested. And not only that, I'm not giving up on myself. So I love doing nails. Nails are my passion. I love watching y'all nail videos. So if you are another YouTuber that, you know, maybe you need to get your subscribers up and you do nails or makeup or hair, Go on and shoot me a message and say, hey, I like your video. Could you subscribe to my channel? Subscribe for a subscribe. I'm all with that. All right. Okay. Because it's mean out here in these YouTube streets. Let me tell you, especially for us black YouTubers. We got to we gotta have a little more unity, y'all. Like the last couple of weeks, it's starting to simmer down. But for like the last couple of weeks, I've been hearing about y'all drama. And I've been trying to stay out of it because I don't like drama. So I am just ombre in that thing. Look how beautiful it is. I like how the tan kind of goes over some of those gold butterflies. And I wanted the butterflies to look like they was having a party. A party. So <laughs> I just threw them on there in a cluster. Now, this is that green that I was mentioning earlier that I made. And the only thing I did, y'all, let me tell you. Let me tell you a little secret. Come here. Put your ear up to the speaker. No, don't do that. I just took some clear acrylic powder and I had some glow in the dark powder and I mixed them and I mixed it really, really, really good. That's all I did to get this color. Now, my glow in the dark powder that I used is called Olive. I don't know the brand of the powder. It's some funky brand that I got off of Amazon. Y'all know how they had those crazy brands that you don't know how to pronounce the name. That. So I bought some glow in the dark powders because you can use glow in the dark powder for you can make almost anything glow with glow in the dark powder. They also have glow in the dark um, liquid stuff too, which I didn't think about getting that because maybe I could add that to some gel polish. But you can make your own acrylic powder glow. And so that's all I did. And I made that acrylic powder and it the consistency of it is just the bomb. I believe I used me a secret for the base. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that because I have a lot of different clear acrylic. Okay, so we're just doing ombre on every nail and I'm kind of out of frame. Sorry about that. I am blending, blending, blending and tapping my acrylic once I have the bead pretty much where I want it. I just use the belly of the brush to tap. So that's what I am doing here. It looks very aggressive, but trust me, it's not. It's just sped up so I can try to keep everybody happy. Can't do much about the voiceover. What you can do if you don't like my voice. You can mute your phone, tablet, whatever, TV, whatever you're watching, a computer. Just mute it and just watch the video, okay? But I'm not adding music. I am talking all 34 minutes of this video. So, yeah, that's just one of my little tips. If you are getting started, get your essentials, okay? 
Stuff like the little butterflies and rhinestones, some rhinestones, aren't very expensive, but it adds up. So you're going to invest. There's no way around that. But every little thing that's a, a, a fad or it's a trend, you don't have to buy. Like those kawaii. One thing that I bought that I wish I didn't was those kawaii charms. Absolutely nobody gets those in my area. Nobody wears kawaii nails. Nobody. And so I'm stuck with these uh slime charms. And I think I'm going to give them to my son so he can put them in his slime. So this is that orange color from IGL Beauty. And I know some of y'all might know we are not supposed to mix acrylic. But these are press on, so I don't think it really matters. And we do anyway. Because it look cute. Now, I think that's more so like you're taking one acrylic powder to make another color. But I know people that do that too. I've done it before too. Not on a client, but on myself. And nothing happened, you know. The only thing that happened was some cute bomb nails. So different strokes for different folks. I'm not here to judge anybody and tell y'all what y'all should and shouldn't do. Okay. I just like to give little pointers and uh, yeah, like help y'all out. So I'm just once again, patting those beautiful gold butterflies into my acrylic so they'll cure and then i am going to go over this in top coat with clear my not polish clear well I, well I believe the number is zero one it's just clear so no fancy name or nothing but yeah so i'm just using that belly of the brush you can kind of see it here and i'm just patting that into place for some reason i think my ring light and I normally don't use my ring light. If you look at my other videos, the lighting is nowhere near this good. But my ring light causes heat. So they those beads were curing pretty fast. So that's why I had to pat it like that. But yeah. Not Polish is a wonderful brand. I am not an ambassador. I am not paid whatsoever to say this. But it is an easy brand to work with. Um, is it beginner friendly? Really, what is beginner friendly? Like, what is that? Because I learned that I had to learn how to use every system that I bought. And I have multiple. I have several different brands of systems. And instead of me getting rid of it or just tossing it and wasting money, I learned how to adjust my style. Like, for example, Glam and Glitz, Glam and Glitz, they're more thick and chalky. So I use a wetter brush when working with some of Glam and Glitz. Some of them are okay. It just depends on the pigment. The pigment in your acrylic determines how it works. Some colors like black across the board, and I haven't used like Not Polish Black or IGEL Beauty's Black and Dip and Dap, but I got Glam and Glitz Black, I got Model 1's Black, so on and so forth. Now, black is a color... Black is a color that definitely you need to like have your skills together because it once it runs, it stains. Um, and it comes, it tends to come out chalkier and thicker because it has so much pigment versus clear. Clear is the purest form of acrylic. The next to clear is white, right? Um, white always tends to come out gummy. And I have white in Kiara Sky. Um DNC, uh, so many other ones that I've tried in white. I think NSI, which I've heard nobody mention. But yeah, they always come out gummy because of the pigment. For whatever pigment they use with white, it pretty much, the only one that didn't come out too gummy was Model 1's white. And I believe I used that all up. So, and just to give you a little insight, Model Ones isn't a bad brand. I heard, I thought I heard somebody say that they had MMA in their products. I don't think so. Because the way you can tell if an acrylic system has MMA is if when you go to soak it off, if it's taking more than 10, 15 minutes to soak off, chances are it's MMA and you probably shouldn't use that on the natural nail bed and on your clients or yourself. Okay, just practice with it. But Try not to get products that are known for having MMA. I didn't know. I was just buying what I thought was cute. Um, 
But I don't think I ever had a problem with Model 1 soaking off either. So I, I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, this is Glam and Glitz Gold that I will be doing some 3D flowers with because Glam and Glitz is known to be very tacky and gummy. However, I do like their colors. They have a million and one colors. Um, yeah, so now we're into this next clip. And this is the finished product. Now, I did go ahead and encapsulate off camera, and I did file that uh, that ring nail that is all tan. I'm all about you. I did go ahead and file and buff that off camera. Now, what I am doing is going in with some matte top coat by Model Ones, and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds, 30, 60 seconds, depending on if you have a UV or LED lamp. And I'm just showing some of my brushes that I was cleaning in the meantime. And that brush is a size 16 and I absolutely positively do not use that brush anymore because it's too big. I've learned how to use my size 14 and I have a size 10 IVD acrylic brush that I love. I did not like that brush at first, but my 10, my size 10, I got it the first time I went to school. And I, I actually love that brush. I do long nails, short nails, whatever with it. So you will find your groove. If you are new, you will find what works for you. And actually, here she is right here. Nope, that's my, that's actually my wildflowers brush. It looks like that one, but. Okay. So I am laying. Let's see here. I am laying that bead. And. I put this in real fast time, so, you know, you just lay that bead. You got to make sure your brush is not super wet, but not too dry, because if you're, if, of course, if your brush is wet, it's going to run everywhere and not look like a flower and take forever to cure. If your brush is too dry, the bead isn't going to lay on the acrylic. And trust me, I've done both. So you want to get a medium bead. I am using my Wildflowers brush. It's like an art brush. It's very small. And it's perfect for laying 3D flowers. Um, so whenever I'm doing 3D flowers, I pull out my wildflowers brush because it has a, a perfect point. So I can, you know, put definition, you know how you want the leaf to have like a little indentation to make it look like a leaf and not a dot. It's perfect for that. And you can see kind of in the clip how pointed that brush is. So you want to get you a really small brush, not too small. You don't want like a, a liner brush, but you want a really small brush that, you know, you can make petals with. So now I am making brown flowers after making my goal. And I think this looks really good. And I'm doing different. I want to, I want to make the petals look a little different. So these are bigger petals using the same brush. And I'm just kind of working that acrylic using equal parts monomer and polymer which is powder to get that gummy yet not extra runny not too dry so that's what a medium bead is um and just working that you know and i think these are the best flowers that i've done they're pretty straight you want to make sure you you map so if need be if you're very new with doing flowers if you have to take like a sharpie or a pencil and mark where you want your flowers to go, do that because it's very easy to not have your, you know, flowers look like flowers. And, you know, these are just simple flowers. I didn't do nothing too intricate. However, I want to keep practicing so that I can make my flowers look really good. You know, I want them to, uh, I just want them to look the bomb. I want to, I want to excel at everything related to nails. So, that's why I practice day and night. Um, I'm, if I'm not practicing, I'm watching videos on nails. And this last month, you know, if y'all kind of gathered from my last videos, what I was talking about, there's a reason why I talk about these things. And it's because I be going through stuff. And I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that just doing nails is just an easy industry, especially for women of color. Um, nothing's easy for us, right? You know, but it is very rewarding. And don't give up. And if I, you know, can keep going, so can you. You know, I've had people say my stuff was ugly and this, this, and that. And that really didn't get to me. It kind of did in the beginning. 
But that was because I was new to everything, the criticism, all of that. It all comes with it. And trust me, it will get easier. Just keep your passion alive for nails. Keep going to your nail desk or wherever you do nails at and just keep at it. Even if it's just a hobby. The way you get better is by repetition and trial and error. So just keep going, keep going, keep going. I can't stress that enough. So I was taking a break because of some things that had occurred. However, I'm not going to let anybody break my soul. Okay. Like Queen B said, you won't break my soul. And one thing nobody can take from me, they may be able to take a piece of paper or some money or clients. But they can never take my talent, God-given talent for art, my passion and love for nails. And they can't take away what I've learned so far from doing nails. So that that's all I got to say about that. But th that is why y'all had those kind of voiceovers, because I needed to get it out. And this is my platform, you know. And I appreciate those of you that viewed my video and you didn't say anything rude. But I wish y'all would just say, hey, you know, I agree with you something. Let me know y'all actual people and not bots clicking on my stuff, okay? So it's okay to, you know, say, hey, comment. I actually encourage y'all to comment. Leave a comment. So what are we doing here? So I am fouling. I got done with my, um, my other set. Or not my other set. I got done with that last nail that I was laying the 3D flowers on. And I did laser. I did a matte top coat. You want to do top coat before you lay your flowers, okay? And you might be like, Mary, well, why? What if you uh, mess up? You better hurry up and scrape that thing off. Start over. Just foul off whatever you messed up. Like, say you laid a bead on the flower, you know, for the flower, and it cured too fast for you, and you didn't really, you don't like the way it looked. Just take your e foul and foul that thing off. Yeah, so now I am here in this clip. I am filing the rest of my nails. And uh, yeah, I'm just buffing, filing. So I had three nails that I needed to finish. And I'm showing my nails. And look at that cuticle work, baby. Baby. Ain't never looked so good before. Now, I actually took the time to clean up my cuticles because I was neglecting myself. Us nail techs, you know, when we get busy and stuff, we just rush on ourselves. Like, oh, I could just slap some polish. But no, you can't skip on yourself because these are your billboards. And let me tell you, if your nails look good, you're going to get people stopping you and asking you, who do your nails? And it's nothing more rewarding as a nail tech to say, I do my own nails. Nothing more rewarding. Okay, you might say the money is rewarding. Okay, for you. But for me, nothing's more rewarding than somebody complimenting me on my work, on my hands, and they're asking me who did my nails. And I'm like me. So, yeah. So, I'm doing something here. I'm getting something. Curing something. Something, something. But uh, that's why I sped this up. There's a lot of stopping, too. This video would have been two hours if I did not speed this up. So what I'm doing, oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting some gel polish. I am using my Beatles for something, 428. Don't quote me. Um, it's like a green kind of jade color. I'm just going to make some cute squiggly lines. Let me see if I can change the, nope, it's just I'm out of frame. So um, getting that top coat by Model 1s. And I'm using, actually, this time I'm using my shiny top coat. Last nail I used my matte top coat. I'm using shiny top coat. And I am going to, here I go. I'm putting the shiny top coat. I was getting it all together. That's why I sped this up, because I was getting it all together in that last clip. But yeah. So I am going to lay that on there, on top. And I was out of frame doing my squigglies. So I do apologize. I just made some squiggly lines because that's another thing that I need to practice are those squiggly lines. So yeah, I'm curing that top coat for 30, 60 seconds. I think I did actually 60 just to make sure it was cured. Another tip too while I'm thinking about it, and I turned the light off so this can glow for you. So sorry if you can't really see. 
it's kind of grainy, but I'm trying to show how that nail is glowing. Okay. So another tip, you don't want to over buff the nails, especially when you're doing acrylic or gel, hard UV gel. You do not want to over buff on any enhancement, dip, acrylic, uh, what's the old school stuff they used to use? Um, oh Lord. The uh, fiber nails, wraps, any of them, any enhancement. You don't want to over buff because what will happen if you top coat the nail with, you know, gel, which most of us do use gel top coats, it can peel. That nail can be so smooth that it can peel. And I watch some of y'all YouTubers out there, y'all be buffing for y'all life. Like, dang, you know, the gel kind of hides and conceals some of those scratches. So, you know, just uh, buff enough to where the nail feels smooth to the touch. That's it. Okay. I don't believe in over fouling and over buffing. Those two things, no. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, here I am doing something out of frame. I'm telling you, honey, I'm so sorry. But, yeah, I'm fouling the rest of these nails and I'm getting it. And if you want me to post a video on how I foul, um, I don't feel too, like, overly confident about my fouling. So, that's why I haven't posted any fouling videos. But... Some channels that have some great filing videos, Natalie Cremona, uh, Tip Top Shape, shouts out to her. I love her personality. She reminds me a lot of myself. Tip Top Shape, um, who else got good filing videos? Tabitha Scott, of course. She's great at everything from start to finish. She's just great at it. And I'm kind of sad that she don't do acrylic anymore, but mm, gel is fun, you know. Um, those people, though. They have some great filing videos and they have saved my life. So just make sure y'all check them out if you want filing videos. Like I said, I don't feel overly confident about my filing. So that's why I don't, maybe that's subconsciously why I don't be in the camera when I'm filing. But my nails be turning out cute. But um, I, I, I just want to perfect it before I get on camera. And y'all be like, them nails busted. Who? <laughs> those nails are still crooked girl you trying to make a video about fouling so i don't i don't you know i know it's a read i know sometimes my nails don't be the the straightest on here keep in mind that i don't work on real people i got two videos where i did two people hands way back when um it was just it wasn't way back when i was earlier this year when i was working in salon so um but yeah other than that i, I just don't like to record people because Huh. Y'all know nail touch, y'all feel me. People be holding their hands wrong. You gotta hold on, gotta fix this. Oh, they didn't bump their polish. Oh, I gotta fix it. You know, I just, that's why. So it's just easier to make content on press ons yourself or a plastic hand. So that's why I do that. Mm. I didn't go nowhere, y'all. I just had to get a drink of juice. All this talking, child. It really takes a lot to do YouTube videos. So y'all appreciate y'all YouTubers and stop going in their comments and don't come in mine because I will delete it. But stop going in people's comments and just being like, oh, I don't like voiceovers. Um, people be contradicting they self and um, where's your and it be the people that ain't got no type of channel. They on here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to judge and troll other people's channels. Like, stop that. That is so not cool. Ugh, because it's hard work. I commend anybody that gets on YouTube and posts any original content. I commend y'all. And there's millions of us, you know, like my nail videos, <laughs> they're struggling, okay? I don't even think I have a nail video that got anywhere like over 200 and something views. So it's a struggle. And I, that's my fault because I haven't been consistent. And there they go glowing. Y'all see that? Boom. She glows. And the little dot on my flower is going to glow too. That's one thing I forgot to mention. So after I did the flowers, I did go in with those other three colors. The yellow, the green, and the orange. And I put them in the middle of my flower and I added some caviar beads. Just to give it a little, mm, you know, to my flower. So there's a lot of things you can do to jazz up your flowers. You can put rhinestones in the middle. You know, jazz up, jazz up. If you do rhinestones, I say lay the rhinestones first. You know, and then, and this is just me 
doing that other hand, but I get tired and I stop and I say, you know what? No, thank you. So make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. If you don't do anything, make sure you subscribe. I want to get my subscribers up. I uh, used to have like way more subscribers and then because my channel took a turn. A lot of people left because they don't want to see nail stuff. And a lot of people unsubscribe because I stopped posting on my YouTube, right? I've had this YouTube, this same YouTube channel. Like this is the only YouTube channel I've ever had. And I actually start posting videos about 2014. And I had a toddler back then. So if I can do it with the toddler way back in the day, I do it now. So I'm still just trying to build up my uh, platform and I'm doing it with no help. I don't have homies that's like, hey, follow my home girl. I I'm telling you, I don't have none of that. I don't have family members that's like, hey, watch my sister, cousin, mother, brother, sister, you know, whatever. You know, I'm just letting YouTube do its thing. I'm solely dependent on the algorithm and those of you that stumble upon my videos and find my voice <laughs> entertaining or whatever or maybe you just love to hate me and you just keep coming back whatever you know subscribe I'm trying to get my stuff up i'm trying to see something real quick okay so this is me just doing the other hand same stuff that i did i did not put the butterflies on for some reason i think i just started getting tired. Like I said, I've been at this all day. I did the first half earlier, recorded it, did the second half just a minute ago, and now I'm doing this voiceover. And I said, look, child, I got to give myself a break. I've been pumping out videos. I think like two weeks ago, I put out like two or three videos for y'all within a week. So give your girl some credit. It's very hard work, especially editing. Some people say the voiceovers is the hard part. For me, it's the editing, okay? Uh, that's why you don't see too many uh, graphics and you know, animations and things like that. Things like that. Sorry, I'm dropping my microphone. Because I just, I can talk my ass off, right? But the editing gets on my nerves. That's what gets me. So I've been pushing through. Like I told y'all, one of my earlier videos, I was going to make an appointment. For those of you that are subscribed to me, I was going to make an appointment to keep these videos coming. And so far, so good. Ever since July, June, July, I've been on it. So my goal is to keep it going. And who knows, maybe by next year, you know, some new subscribers will be up in here laughing at these older videos, my struggle videos. Because we all got them, YouTubers. We all got our struggle videos where we were awkward looking and our phone, you know, our camera stuff wasn't the greatest so i say all this to say don't give up all right and don't let nobody take what you love to do away from you just know that there's somebody out there that appreciate it and that somebody is me you know i wouldn't be doing what i'm doing had i had i not seen it be done you know from other people it's possible i know that i can get to a thousand subscribers i know that you know the views are on the way because a lot of times I do be talking about some of this stuff. It's just, I don't know if it's re reaching the right people. But uh, I'm going to start letting people know that, you know, in, com in other conversations, like, hey, go check out my channel. So I see a lot of that too. And I'd be scared to do that. I don't be wanting to creep nobody out. So hope y'all made it to the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe and thank you so much. And I hope y'all enjoy these nails. And uh Stay tuned for some pictures. My next video should have the final product of both hands and if I add anything else. So thank y'all so much. God bless. Till next time. Peace.